Hello everyone. In this kit, we have assembled for you materials to create your own handmade patches. And in these videos, I'll show you how I made mine. We have included an embroidery needle, a thimble, a stencil, some safety pins and a pin back, a few pieces of felt that have already been cut into shapes for you to use, and some black and white embroidery thread. Cotton embroidery thread is made up of six strands of thread that have been braided together. The beauty of this is that you are able to separate those strands of thread and then use a thinner or thicker line to create the details you want in embroidery. To separate the strands in your embroidery thread, start by cutting a length of thread around one foot long. For me, that's about the length of my forearm. Then I'll pinch the end of the thread in one hand and tap at that end until the threads start to just come apart. And then very slowly, with both hands, I will pull those threads apart. And you can see how the thread below is spinning as those strands start to unravel. And then continue just pulling ever so slowly until the threads fully come apart. And there we have a three-stranded length of embroidery thread to use now. And with this other half of six-stranded thread, I am going to separate one more strand. So again, I will pinch those ends to separate and pull them apart very slowly. This time, the thread that is still joined has twisted and jumped up and started a little tangle with the threads that I've already separated. And this is something that happens when you move too fast. So if you notice this happening, make sure to slow down and give that thread time to unwind. And here you can see the difference in the thicknesses of these threads a single strand, a double strand, a triple strand, and the full six strand. Finally, each kit includes a unique assortment of colors in this peel and stick felt. There are a few other things that you will see me use in these videos, and there are things that you might wanna consider using when you work on your own project as well. It's always good to have a pencil and paper around, Maybe you have a sketchbook that you like to work in, but plain paper or scrap paper is really all you need to work out some ideas. The design ideas that I am drawing here were inspired by the colors that I found in the kit I'm working with. And I hope you'll find a minute to take a look at the colors in your kit and be inspired to create your own patches too. These thread scissors are what I use to cut my felt shapes. They are tiny and they cut through felt really well because of how sharp they are. Whatever scissors you use, it is important to work slowly to avoid getting your fingers cut, especially when cutting small pieces. One other thing that I found to come in handy was just a thumbtack and a piece of scrap cardboard. This allowed me to pierce through the felt layers before using my needle and thread to add those final details to my patches. A thimble is a pushing tool that can be used depending on the number of layers you're wanting to sew through. To use the thimble, place the eye end of the needle into one of the dimples on the thimble and then push the needle through. A thimble should stay comfortably on your index, middle finger, or thumb. It's important to work in whatever manner that is most comfortable for you. It is also possible to move the needle in a winding motion as you gently push through the layers of felt. This will move those dense fibers compacted into the felt apart just enough for the needle to slide through. Most of all, it's important to avoid struggling to push the needle through your patch in any way. It's especially important to avoid folding your patch like I have done here, as this will stretch your stitches and affect your design in ways that you may not want. Another thing to keep in mind is to take breaks and stand up and walk around from time to time and maybe try a few of these hand and wrist stretches. 
you can start by holding your arm out with your palm facing down and then with the other hand gently press down on your outstretched hand until you feel a stretch in your wrist and your arm. Hold that for a few seconds and then repeat on the other side. Next, hold your arm with your palm facing up and press down on your palm with the other hand to hold that stretch for a few seconds. I like to stretch out my fingers like starfish and then curl them into a fist and open again. And then with my balled up fists, give them a roll a few times. And now that we've covered the basics here, we'll put everything together in the next video.